Jello Beats, holla at me. Hey guys, what's up? So welcome back to the channel and another video. So today I wanted to discuss the goal of peak week bodybuilding training. Now, to cover what peak week is for some that do not know, it is the last week of your competition prep. So you diet down for a bodybuilding show where you step on stage in essentially speedos or glamorized speedos and it is the last week. So to an extent from the outside looking in, I guess if my mum, if I, my mum was here and I was to ask her, what do you reckon I do in the last week of a bodybuilding show? She probably wouldn't have much of an idea, but if I asked her, what do you think the goal of a bodybuilding peak week is? She'd probably know. And that comes from common sense. The common sense answer to that question is looking the best at the end of the week. Surely, because that's when your competition is. For a power lifter, you want to peak for your meet. And what's peaking entail? Lifting the most amount of weight on the day and being the best athlete on the day. So for a bodybuilder, the goal at the end of the peak week is to simply be the best version of yourself on that day. And a lot of people, again, like I've made videos in the past on peak week, but they think it is essentially some potential magical week or you'll hear, I can't wait to see the final package. I've had quite a few of those comments on my Instagram, like in the past week. And granted, I've used this week for fat loss. So I have actually made some fat loss progress. I hit a new low. I'm almost a pound lighter than I was this time last week. I have made some progress. So my physique does inherently look a little different. However, it's not gonna look drastically different to what it did a week ago. So the whole final package is really relative to the tan, the posing trunks, and the extortionately amazing stage lighting from the BNBF and photography from Fivos, uh, which if you've been to a BNBF show, you'll know the, the caliber of, of both of those things. So with regards to training, so weight training for peak week, I think it's important to realize that, again, the goal here is to simply look your best. Now, a lot of the time, when do you look really, really good? You look really, really good just on a normal training week. But there is an element of accumulative fatigue that has been built up as a result of training. Hard training will promote some element of cell swelling and thus water retention in some body parts. For example, your lower body especially. If you train your legs, there is a decent cell swelling effect, which not only affects the lower body extremities, but also the upper. If you think about leg training, it's highly taxing on your CNS system, your central nervous system. And this promotes an overall body response, a raising cortisol throughout the entire body and thus some potential water retention across the entire body. Uh, albeit it will be small, but it could have an effect. And one of my friends, I don't know whether I'll watch this, but he made a really, really valid post the other day about men's physique competitors not training legs heavily too close to the show. Why? Because of the overall tax on the body and thus the, the cortisol spike potentially in water retention. And we don't want that. Essentially we want very low fatigue, we want low cell swelling, and we want a massively perfect environment for glycogen uptake. So for me, that comes from dropping your intensities, dropping your volume, and doing essentially quite light loading, more pump style sessions. So if you are depleting glycogen slightly, which I am doing, I'm slightly depleting glycogen source, I'm depleted anyway. And to be honest, like depletion carbs for me is around about 200. That's very low for me at this stage, considering my lowest before that was 250-ish. So a 50 gram drop is large and that will create some nice room for loading. So I want to basically flush glycogen to the point where we've got 
empty, or at least <laughs> we quote, quote empty, they're not quite empty, but we want a, a, an environment where we can push in glycogen to the muscle stores, which are flat and wanting glycogen to come in. So we do that by pump sessions, which are very low fatigue, so we don't accumulate a lot of fatigue or cell swelling, but we, ought, we push glycogen out, and then when we load, we push glycogen in. So a lot of the time, there's two, there's two other ways that pe people might go about it. It's like, they'll load, but they won't train. They'll just sit on the sofa. I think there's an inherent issue with that because you're not essentially pushing the glycogen in my head, it might sound bro, bro science but you're not essentially pushing the glycogen to where you want it, which is intracellular. Uh, I don't think sitting down is the most advantageous thing you can do when loading. I just, personally, I don't think so. I think at minimum, you should be posing on a frequent basis. If you're posing, that's actually quite intense muscle contractions. And that should be taken into account in your peak week and planning your posing because it is actually quite taxing. I pose every single morning and I'm, I'm a little bit tired after it, to be honest. My legs start to hurt after several rounds. So what we want to do, like I was talking about, is yes, essentially when we're loading, create an environment where we're pushing in glycogen. And we do that again by similar workouts that we'd be doing earlier on in the week, which are pump style. So my sessions have been like deload, normal deload. I stopped, my last lower body session was Tuesday. The show is Sunday, so I've got a decent gap. And actually I will like over the course of my full body workouts, like my full body circuits, which I'm doing from tomorrow onwards, Friday and Saturday, I will actually do some very, very light leg extension, leg curl on tomorrow's session and potentially Saturday, depending on how I feel. Just again, to push a little bit of glycogen into those areas, which can almost have like a bro science hardening up effect. Because when you do push glycogen in, this is why you don't want to be flat on stage, is because it, it, it makes the muscles look both harder and tighter. Because you have this effect of pushing the intracellular like intracellular fluid water etc up against the sides of the of the of the muscle cell and it, it has that sort of hardening look which you don't get when you're flat because when you're flat it has almost like a soft like permeated look if that makes sense okay so that is the goal and i think to do that requires some element of training as opposed to sitting on the sofa the other perspective is that peak week is your final week. And peak week, you must destroy your sessions to leave no, no stone unturned and, and leave no cards on the table type thing. I think that can be equally as disadvantageous as not training or keeping your training the exact same. Because the fatigue you'll accumulate by going super hard in your peak week is not advantageous for glycogen uptake and the overall stage look. So if you're training like balls to the wall in peak week, doing all your normal sessions, you'll probably end up looking still okay because if you were lean enough, you'll still look decent, but I don't think you'll maximize the look that you could have looked like, if that makes sense. So guys, essentially it's something that you can quite easily overthink and it's quite easy again Especially if you're in a fed, if you're in a decently fed state and you're doing something like a front load to want to train hard because you'll have extra energy. But if you're like me and you're actually doing a back load, you don't really want to train hard because you just kind of feel like shit until you load, which is only like one day out. So you only have one opportunity to go ham and I'm not going to go ham. So yeah. Take all these things into account guys. I hope this video is kind of informative and you took something away from it. So. That's it for today. I'm feeling pretty good. I think I'm waking up like tighter every morning. It just kind of seems like at least the scale is dropping in that fashion. So no huge drops this week. Just again, we're looking like we'll probably lose at least a pound on average, which is great. And final two days today, tomorrow of sort of low days and then a high, nice high day on Saturday, which will make me feel very, very good and very alive for the stage, which is important. Don't want to be dragging your ass to the stage. You want to be vibrant and feel good on, on show day. Um, you want to be able to pose hard and battle. So yeah, guys, 
I will see you most likely tomorrow for another video depending on my schedule and hope you've had a great day and we'll speak soon. Cheers guys. Bye.